What's up guys, Chris here, and welcome back to the channel, where today's video we are focusing on an unlock guide for the Type 2A on Battlefield 5. And it's been a long time since I've done these, so I apologize if it's not good, you know, the commentary and stuff. But anyway, from using this in the testing range, because you can actually use it in there, uh, it is actually pretty good, and it has a fast fire rate, so... I'd say it's a must have, um, but with that being said, let's get started. So the first assignment is to kill enemies or revive teammates three times. Uh, as easy as it says, you can do it in any mode with no problem, or you know, any weapon you want. Uh, for the next few assignments, you will have three assignments each from top to bottom. And the first one actually requires you to kill five enemies with headshots. And what I would recommend is to take a sniper rifle or a self-loading rifle or even a semi-auto and aim for the head. But if that's not your thing, then, you know, that's alright. You can use your favorite weapon. But again, make sure to aim for the head so that you're getting those headshots. The assignment below requires you to win one round of team deathmatch, and that's easy as it says. And also, if you're, you know, doubting TDM, it actually isn't that bad, that's what you're seeing in the gameplay right now. But I guarantee you'll get it through easily if you just be a sweaty little tryhard or you just play normally. The bottom assignment requires you to revive teammates 25 times, and pretty much everyone can get this done easily. Uh, for tips, I would recommend using the smoke grenade rifle or even smoke grenades as a whole, or maybe combine them together because then it'll provide uh, cover for you so that you won't get shot. Now onto the second round of assignments. The top requires you to kill three enemies with the katana, and this is easy, and obviously it is implying that you have to play on the Pacific maps and have to get it through a battle pickup on one of those maps. The middle assignment requires you to resupply ammunition for 1,500 score, and the same thing as reviving people 25 times, everyone can get this done. Uh, for tips though, I recommend using the ammo pouches rather than the ammo boxes because you could just throw the pouches at people rather than forcing others to actually pick it up from the box. And most of the time people won't really pick it up from the box so rather than just giving it to them through the pouch. The bottom assignment requires you to heal teammates or resupply their bandages for 1000 score. And again, this is really easy. Uh, just stay next to teammates as a group and be their support player pretty much as a medic. On to the final round of assignments. The top assignment requires you to spot 25 enemies, which is easy as it says again. Uh, using a spotting flare is probably better than using the spotting scope, but whatever works for you is best. The middle assignment requires you to achieve 5 double kills. And this may be kind of hard, but I would say just let the action unfold and let the enemies come to you, such as maybe defending on conquest, you know, let the enemies come into the objective, and then kill them. If that's not for you, then you can do the bottom assignment, which requires you to kill 20 enemies within 20 meters, which is extremely easy, because if I'm correct, it, then it's just close to medium range, so pretty much just play normally in close quarters or medium range, and it'll be completed in no time. On to the final stretch now, the final assignment is to kill enemies or revive teammates 200 times as a squad. And notice the as a squad option, which means you won't have to do this all by yourself obviously. Uh, you could play solo, alone, but I recommend you play with a group of friends because you may know what you're doing unlike randoms which don't know what they're doing sometimes. There is also another assignment uh, that is optional after you unlock the Type 2A, and it requires you to kill 20 enemies within 20 meters with the Type 2A. And pretty much, I would say, just stick within close quarters combat and medium range, and this will be done in no time. And there you go, the Nambu Type 2A is finally yours. Hopefully it's good, I mean, at the time I'm recording this, it's not even out yet, but I really hope it's good. As I said, I tested it out in the um, testing range, and it is really fast, like the fire rate is really fast, um, so hopefully it's good. <laughs> but that's about it for this video guys, hope you enjoyed, and if you did, drop a like. And as always, thanks for watching, my name is Shackle Chris, and I'm signing out.